So we actually have a variety of programs uh, for the eSports Association. One is career readiness. So we actually work with the Career Center here to better prepare our association members to learn those life skills that they are going to need so that when they make that transition over to a career pathway. Awesome, awesome. This guy, this guy, we got to turn around. This guy wins almost every tournament we throw. I'm telling you. <laughs> we got to watch the live. CSUDH Esports Association is centered in four domains, academics and research, community engagement, competition, and entertainment. We're trying to make sure that the students are prepared for the future, that they understand the diversity that media offers now, and again, look beyond the traditional outlets. They can gain fieldwork, partnerships, as well as potential job opportunities, and in both the higher education and, and K-12 fields. We believe that eSports is a strategy and not an outcome. Our association is here to help anyone that is willing to learn how to take your gaming skills to the next level through a supporting community. If you are looking to showcase your production talents to help support our eSports teams, then this is the association for you. We host online and on-site tournaments that will allow our members to showcase their competitive spirit. Our association broadcasts out our competition and practices to entertain our community as well as our global audience. We believe that by joining us, you will come out of the association feeling transformed and better prepared to transfer your skills into your career. Join today and begin to explore endless opportunities through our eSports Association here at Cal State Dominguez Hills. Welcome everyone. Thank you for tuning in. If you're watching this live or you're watching this uh, on post, uh, we uh, welcome you and we appreciate your support. So just want a quick uh, announcement is that we do have various social platforms. If you don't mind, if you like what you see uh, and you want to follow us, uh, leave us a comment, please. We welcome you to do that. And uh, thank you uh, for the support. Okay. Now to get to it, we have a very, very special guest in Dr. Drew Schwartz today with us, who's going to give us a special uh, session today on For the Wellness. And uh, Dr. Drew, if you don't mind introducing yourself and welcome. All right. Well, hey, everybody. What's up? I'm, uh, I'm Dr. Drew. I'm a, a chiropractor in Cleveland, Ohio. I originally grew up in Minnesota in the middle of nowhere. So <laughs> video games were the only thing to do. So... I started playing a lot of N64, a lot of GoldenEye, um, and kind of grew up as a gamer, loved it, and went to school in undergrad, played a ton of Halo 1, way too much Halo 3, embarrassing amounts. Um, then I went to chiropractic school in St. Louis, and there I took up a lot of Modern Warfare 2. That's where I really caught the Call of Duty bug. Uh, and then moved to Cleveland, and I've been a chiropractor here in Cleveland for about eight years. And about two years ago, I started for the wellness and I wanted to, you know, I, I always say this story when I'm on different stuff, but I, different podcasts, but I have two hour lunch and I was worthless on that two hour lunch. So I would do, I'd watch Netflix or I'd play league or I'd do just non-productive things. And I decided, you know, like I got to do, I need to do something productive. I need something to honestly, like to better myself, better, better my medical knowledge and, uh, I don't know, just be productive human being. So I, I said, <laughs> hey, I need, I want to start talking more about gaming and wellness. I looked in the space. I didn't really, I didn't like anything that I saw, but I thought, you know, I could bring a different perspective. One, being a chiropractor, and a, two, I think, being, just having a different delivery. Uh, and as we talked about earlier, like reading the room a little more, and it's not like trying to be edgy or anything, but that's just like my personality. Is I try and put a little personality into it. Because one, it's more enjoyable to look at, and two, it'll connect with people a little more. I think yeah. rather than like we talked about earlier, like here's a scientific study I need to look at. And you're like, <laughs> all right, cool. I'm not gonna look at that. 
So <laughs> the big thing is, you know, I do reviews, I do, you know, ergonomic topics, treatments, conditions, uh, mm. kind of everything under the sun. And I just finished a really big five part series called Elemental Ergonomics. Mm. I always think it's like, like Captain Planet style, where it's, you know, I took a, you know, air and lighting. So basically it's like ventilation, lighting, and mm. earth was um, typical desk setup. Water was hydration, nutrition. Heart was exercise and promoting breaks and like taking breaks during games. And yeah. then uh, the last one was fire. And that was like pain management mm. and what you should do if you have you know, X and Y and when to use ice, when to use heat, you know, when to seek someone uh, out as it's like, you know, this probably isn't normal. Um, yeah. So it was really cool. I did, I partnered with a bunch of different companies. Um, Hayworth, they're basically Herman Miller, like it's Herman Miller than Hayworth. Um, in the, you know, ergonomic furniture space, Dyson, which everyone's probably heard of for the air purification and the task light, which are oh, really yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, hydrate smart water bottle app. And then one of the most fun ones was hyper ice and they do, they oh, just right. partnered with the NBA to be the official NBA, uh, recovery tool. So they make like those crazy Thera guns you've probably seen, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. these mini spheres, a lot of vibration, a lot of like self care. Nice. Um, it's really good and, and that you should be aware of as a gamer or as, you know, honestly, like a human being, like you should be, you know, constantly trying to learn and, and do this stuff. So then I've also worked with, you know, Cleveland area colleges, Cavs Legion, the NBA 2K team. I did um, some medical work for them last year and a little bit this year and then COVID hit. So we couldn't really interact as much um, with the quarantine. So that was disappointing. Um, and then I also do like cons some consulting with different companies, um, you know, trying to get into the esports space, like, hey, what are they looking for um, health wise? And then also yeah. for like orgs to say, like, you know, what should we be looking at for our players? And, right. and some of the stuff I've most of it listed on websites, some of the stuff I don't, it's I had to sign NDAs and stuff like that. Um, right. But, you know, it's, it's kind of consulting medical provider and blogger uh, is yeah. the gist of for the wellness. No, that's, that's awesome. Gosh, so detailed. Thank you, Drew, for sharing that. And, and I mean, I'm just admiring the fact that, I mean, you, you, there wasn't any, I mean, and you, you please share with me if, if it was or wasn't, but as you were getting your degrees, uh, was there anything in the area of health and wellness in esports at the time? I mean, no, I mean, no, right? I've been a Cairo for like eight years and I went to yeah. chiropractic school in St. Louis and literally right next to uh, the chiropractic college, probably like a 10 minute drive is Maryville okay. that are like massive in esports now. And back then, like that was just non-existent, right, right? right? There was really nothing in the space. Um, and even like two years ago, three years ago, there wasn't, there was hardly anything. Um, mm -hmm. And now it's picking up and there's getting more and more, which is great. And I really, I really enjoy having a ton of different perspective because look, it's like sports, right? It's, mm -hmm. you know, sports have a medical doctor and an orthopedist and a chiropractor and PTs and athletic trainers and all this stuff. And that's what esports needs. And it's still in like an immature space and doesn't have like the, the, the funding and the mm. idea that health and wellness is really important for players. So eventually it's going to get to that and it's going right. to be like that, you know, so that we need tons of different perspectives in the space. And that's what I, that's what I, I really like because you learn so much coming from one different backgrounds as, you know, as a person and two, different medical backgrounds, different teachings as well. And you, that, that's the goal, like with for the yeah. wellness, like, yeah, it's to put out content, but it also, I really like doing it because it helps me get better as a, as a chiropractor for mm -hmm. my patients as well. Right now, right on. And, and I think you just said it right there. Like uh, the industry is already moving that direction. And yeah. if we want to see an industry grow and thrive, it really needs to start looking into areas like for the wellness mm -hmm. uh, areas of health and wellness, excuse me, and awareness to, actually contribute something like what you're doing with for the wellness that ties in a lot of the work to say hey you know what we, we want you to have a longer career and when you mentioned about self-care i mean th that's really key uh now in today's uh tech world right i mean is what are the things that we can do before we get to a doctor's office right yeah. uh and and with you know what we're going on with with the pandemic of course it's almost like okay we don't want to necessarily rush to the doctor if it's something that perhaps we could have just self uh, cared for and perhaps even prevent as well before getting to that state of 
fire, where it's, the pain is too aggravating and, and we have to go see a medical professional. Um, yeah. 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 And I think, you know, and, and the other thing, even more so, like, yeah, it, this can pertain to gaming and it's awesome and that's what I love doing. But also, I mean, majority of everybody is like sitting at a desk now at some point during the day, right? Mm. So this carries over significantly with, uh, with gaming. Right. I mean, right, with right. PC, you're, you're at a PC doing mm-hmm. desk work, which isn't fun. Then you're at a PC gaming, which is fun. Right. right so right, it's right. <laughs> it's the same thing. And with console, it's a little different. Right. Because right. I was in that old school um, kind of posture where you're bent over and everything like that. But I, I switched right. to PC like two, three months ago and I'll never go back, by the way. <laughs> but um, but yeah, yeah I, I noticed that, you know, the, the posture is completely different and you have to completely yeah. you have to look at it from a totally different standpoint because. Right console is just like that posture is so bad it is yeah. so bad and my back would hurt my elbows would hurt my quads would hurt because my elbows are on my knees and yeah it was terrible. Mm. yeah no no that's right i mean it's 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 so you know evident that like if we were to see and compare like if we did a before and after picture of like how we typically sit or stand what have you in the position of like a console as opposed to a pc and it's in even to maybe even a smaller size console, right? This, you know, more portable console, if you will. Which is pretty uh, bad too. I'm like, yeah, it's just switch, switching your phone. Yes. Pretty much the same too. It's <laughs> honestly probably worse because you're just like this. Yeah. <laughs> right. And it's really bad. Or you play in bed and you have like a horrible posture in bed. Right. right? Got to get those turnips. I get it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I'm sure like the neck area, I mean, mm. when, when I see, you know, us looking down so much and by the time we like go up for air <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean i'm sure it's not doing any good for our minds for our head right the oxygen the ability to actually feel like we're getting oxygen in our body when we're flexing you know in so many yeah. directions but um man um so please share i mean a little bit more uh about uh health and wellness tips i mean what what is it that you've seen that's been very common especially for those that are in the gaming world, uh, what, what is some of the most common injuries that you've noticed? Yeah, so I think, you know, for the first part, for like for the health, for the tips, tricks, or whatever, I think there's there's so many different, and there's tons and tons of things you can do. So I kind of wanted to break it down okay. for like kind of the elemental thing as well, because it's just really easy to remember. And it okay. kind of gives one of each category rather than just like, boom. Look at right. all this and just throwing at your face, right? Yeah, so, yeah, thank you. Yes. Yeah. So I think these tips, they're really good because not only does it help with overall health, but it also helps with your mental health, decreasing mm-hmm. pain, just feeling better, and and honestly, gameplay. And I don't think many people realize that that some of these, a lot of the studies and a lot of things that I'm going to give tips about have been proven to increase cognitive function, um, you know, prefrontal cortex, decision making everything like that. So it, it's very important. It's for gameplay. And if you've done any of these, you probably know it's like, Oh, I actually probably did play a little better, you know, hmm. or I didn't get as tilted as easy. And so just, a, I'll just give a couple of different things. So one of them is, you know, light or air. So lighting, I think one of the big things that I've been doing recently is reading more on sleep and blue light exposure. Um, we kind of talked about in the, in the lighting article that I did, but blue light is great early in the day. Right. And as we get throughout the end of the day, we want more red light shift. And that's what's natural with the sun. So what happens is when we're on our phones and iPads and gaming. You know, I am guilty of this for sure. Like I love dark room, bright yeah. screen. Like it's terrible for you. Right. But yeah. I, I do it. So I'm not going to be up here on, on I'm guilty ivory, too, ivory tower oh. just being like, I've never done this before. You know, so no, I, I really think, you know, one of the big things is blue light and limiting mm-hmm. that, you know, Honestly, probably two hours before, but if you can, like an hour before bed, okay. your phone, you know, turning it to redshift, to red shift, okay. decreasing uh, gaming. If you can read, read out of a book. I read on my iPad and I like super redshift it, decrease the brightness all the way. Mm-hmm. But that, you know, reading before bed really helps me fall asleep. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that that's, sleep is just so important for retention and, yeah. you know, just making, you just honestly, like you feel better when you have a good night's sleep, right? And yeah. you retain more that you learned throughout that day. And studies have shown that, you know, here I go talking about studies again, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Scientific study yeah, there. right. Here so, they <laughs> <laughs> but but they've, they've shown that when you get a good night's sleep or when you take a nap during the middle of the day, you retain the stuff you learned previously and right. sleep effect, a terrible night's sleep affects you 
two, three days later. And oh, so wow. limiting that blue light is crucial for if you want to get better, not only your job, but gaming. Um, and so for, so for the earth element, another one is just doing some basic like ergonomic research. It doesn't mm. take a lot, right? And I'll yeah. obviously plug my blog, obviously, but there's yeah. tons of different resources out there to say like, how do I set up my sit my setup? How do I set up my chair? How do I set up my mm. peripherals? And it takes two seconds, but just doing the education, and I think that's the biggest thing in the gaming space right now is just having education. Because when I was that age, I didn't know how to right. sit properly or nutrition or anything like that. So getting some education on really simple ergonomics, mm. you'll be amazed at how lifting up your screen and changing your chair will have on your gameplay and how you feel. Amazing. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah, water, I think the water element, just legitimately drinking more water. You know, mm. have a dedicated water bottle and just kind of set a goal like, hey, I want to, I want to rock out like three or four of these today. Cool. Um, and and honestly, you also need to have a like calculate it out. So I always say the quick and easy way is half your body weight in ounces. So mm. I'm 190. So okay. half of that, whatever that is, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, yeah, anyways, let's just say 100. Let's just say 100. No, 90, 95. 95, 95, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you, what do you want to do is just half that in ounces. And so I have a 32 ounce thing. I rip out three or four of those done, yep. but nice. setting a goal and drinking more water, it fills you up. It, everything works better in your body. I mean, they can go on and on about hydration, how important it is. No, right. right. Um, heart element, get up and move. Like, I don't care what you like doing. You like jogging, you like lifting, mm -hmm. you like yoga, you like running on an old school Nintendo track and field mat, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like whatever you want to do, do it. But it, as long as it's moving, because you yeah. feel better, you know, you feel better, you perform better. Everything. If you just get up and move and take a break, like you're in between lobbies, like League of Legends, depending on your elo, it's yeah. like it can be up to five minutes that you have in between. Sometimes, if you're like my elo, it's more like two minutes, but we won't go into that. <laughs> um, but yeah, you have time, so use it. Like get up and move. It's not yeah. hard. It's just you making that conscious effort. Like, hey, I should probably be doing something more productive than just popping right on my phone and right. playing games. Um, last one is fire, and just kind of be mindful of the pain. Like most people and and some of the athletes I've treated are just like, oh, I just thought it just came with the territory. It's like no, like the yeah. big thing is, is is just being mindful and being aware of it. Like you shouldn't have pain when you are you know, 18 to 23 using a mouse, that's like, that's not normal. You need to get that taken out, taken, taken out, taken care of. And right. you need to, you know, just be aware of like, Hey, I should do some research on this. Mm -hmm. Not WebMD. My God, do not go on WebMD because that'll just send you down a rabbit hole of just like terribleness, <laughs> but do some research and just say, you know, Hmm, this is, this is unusual. Should I seek someone, you know, do I have a friend that's, majoring in pre-med right now what do they think you know just get an outside resource and just say hey this isn't normal just be mindful of it i think mm. are the big things because the typical areas you commonly see, you know the tom, common areas you see are you know low back pain stiffness okay. hip stiffness okay. um, neck and headaches are typical and then obviously wrist and hand are huge um so the wrist and hand pain is you know it's not a lot of people are like i have carpal tunnel and like no you don't it's like carpal tunnel like sim symptoms uh, okay. but a lot of time it's due to a, a muscle compression or a muscle tightness or a trigger point or adhesions within the nerve that you can work through and so it's just you know be like i said being mindful of that and reaching out and and saying like hey i have pain when i play when i work at my desk or when i play a hobby that i truly love to do so you know i don't i always tell people like it doesn't get easier as you get older. Like it gets worse. So <laughs> you need you need to address this now because newsflash, right. it's not going to miraculously go away, and mm. it's not going to get a heck of a lot easier. Gotcha. Yeah. No, th those are just well said. And I love how you categorize that too. Uh, and, and also, I love how you just brought in Captain Planet. By the way. <laughs> oh my gosh, our powers you just combined. Me back. You know? I know with all yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, I just want to put our rings together right now. And just... Oh my gosh, I love <laughs> that was. Maybe that's where I love my the environment is from is from Captain Planet and stealing. Oh my gosh! Stealing dude. his virtues in me. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <Virtues>. <laughs> well, Captain Planet, man, he he did world of good. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I was just gonna say and comment about that. Um, you know, you know, part of the self care is not to get too hasty on self diagnosing, right? And then thinking you have something that you may totally be missing the mark. <laughs> 
uh, maybe it's describing the symptoms, but not so much saying I have something like this. Uh, it, it, it'd be better to have discussions with a professional as, as opposed to being so yeah. still in a way of like, hey, I, I think I have this because the research shows that I have this. Yeah. And you know, it's still seeking out the attention to make sure that you don't or that you're at least getting um, some perspective on it outside of just the internet uh, per se in getting this yeah. understanding that you're taking steps to actually seeing what you may be encountering. Um, but yeah, I was just going to say, I'm sure you've had, you know, patients before or clients before just come in saying, I think I have this and it's totally opposite of what it is. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and once again, it's, and you know, I'm sure your parents do the same thing. It's like my yeah. mom goes on WebMD and you're like, well, <laughs> I stubbed my toe. I probably have cancer. She's like, no, you probably don't. <laughs> no, you like, let's, let's take a look and let's work this through. <laughs> right. Um, but, and then, but at the same, t at the same you know, token, I, I don't want people to discourage people from doing research right, like, and, right. and looking it up because I always th think about it like if a new game comes out or there's a new patch, like, Right. Like in Warzone, I play a ton of Warzone. I love it. I got my Minnesota Rocker shirt on. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. But <laughs> so I always tell people like, you do the research. Like, you want to find out the best gun, the best loadout, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Every single patch, couple times, you know, four or five times a year. Hmm. Spend one of those. Spend ten minutes just looking up. Like, hey, how can I improve my setup? Like, how can I do something like that? Like, it will take you ten minutes, but it can it. I don't want to say like it's gonna be transformative, but it'll help you out. Like it, yeah, it's not right. gonna take you from bronze to plat <laughs> in league. Like you're just bad at the game, and we have to just come to realize that. <laughs> but I think the other thing is is that it will improve you. Like you'll get tilted less. And as right. you know, being a gamer, like when you tilt, it's just you're done. Like yeah, you, yeah, you're you're it, your lights out. So. It's just taking that step to say, all right, I'm going to look this up today. I'm going to see how much water I should drink today. I love Boom. that. And that's done. Right. And, and it's yeah. so, I always, I always say on my blog, like it's this very, it's the very small steps hmm. that can snowball into something more. Like you drink more water. Cool. Now you feel a little more full and you're not having like a nutter butter. Right. Or, right, you know, right. a terrible snack, snack for you. Yeah. And that's then that translates right. to, well, I feel better now. I'm going to eat, you know, a nice like quinoa bowl or something like that. And it, and it, tra and it snowballs and it, right. it takes time. It's not going to be an overnight thing. And if you try and change everything at one time, it, it's all yeah. going to fall apart. It's like a house of cards, but <laughs> it, it's those, it's those really small things that you can yeah. do like every single day, just, or every week, just add something just say, all right, I'm going to change this up. Hmm. And you'll notice a difference over time. Like with anything, like changing your body, you know, working out or anything like that it takes time it's not it's not like boom quick fix magic pill it takes time and it takes effort but it's very rewarding honestly oh yeah so oh yeah no, that's well, well said i mean i i can tell you right now drew just from my own experience and i admit like gosh i want to go so hasty on changing something about me whether it's a diet or trying to break a habit but this whole cold turkey thing does, doesn't work uh, no, it's just, no. you just put your body in a more stressful position and then mentally you're almost, you know, fighting as well, you know, and yeah. you're not doing any world of good to what it is that you're trying to achieve. And so it eventually collapses like the house of cards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's not like, it's not like you have to go from what you're eating now to all right. of a sudden having kale sandwiches or anything like that. <laughs> right. It's, it's yeah, little yeah. things and it's, you know, like, you know, for instance, for, me and my wife, like we work out three, four times a week and we eat healthy throughout the week, but like Fridays and Saturdays, like I'll eat some trash. And <laughs> like I, I love ice cream. Like I love yeah, ice cream. Babe. Love right? it. And, and the worst part is vanilla ice cream, which I get hazed for all the time because people just think I'm just so boring, but I love ice cream. Like I'm yeah. never going to give up ice cream. So having ice cream once or twice in a week, and that's what I'm going to do because that makes yeah. me happy, right? There you go. There you go. But that's like, right. I'm not going to have it on a Tuesday morning for breakfast, ripping out my smoothie and, you know, scoops of ice cream going in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be doing that. It's just, it's just making those like small little changes that'll be really good. No, I love that. I love it. Hey, vanilla's not boring. So, you know, that's I right. Love that's right. I love vanilla, that. I love that. Vanilla uh, has so many hints and notes. It's thank like, you. I'm thank a sommelier you. of vanilla ice cream. I, <laughs> I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, as we, well, we're going to have to get like your take on what is your favorite vanilla ice cream? Now I got to know. New York. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I could go some French vanilla every once in a while. Okay. 
But New York, I like New York though. Yeah, okay, yeah. right on, right on. Now you heard it. You heard uh, Drew's favorite ice cream right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But yes. So uh, just just to go back uh, a little bit about you know some of the common pain areas, will you share with us what was like maybe uh, maybe it's a story, maybe something that you've seen that has been eye opening. Uh, what has been probably you know just from applying some of these tips that you just shared with us uh, in improvements has helped someone who was in really bad shape and slowly but surely started moving into the direction of feeling better and yeah. the performance. I think one of my one of my favorite stories and honestly one of my first ones was um, a local college esports athlete came in. Uh, he was I think he was high diamond in. Um, yeah. in league like this guy's legit yeah. right legit. and so you know he came he's like my wrist hurts and i was like all right well how bad is it and he said well i can't open jars i can't open yeah. doors um every time i die i shake my hand out until i spawn and that helps the pain oh, wow. for a little bit and i was like and he i said every single time he died i said yeah he goes it's it's just shooting pain tingling pain in my hand in my hand wrist like it was just terrible so we kind of went down the road and we went to, all right, let's, what's your setup look like? You know, what, what are you sitting on? What, where's your mouse at? All that stuff. So we went over that. And then the other thing is, is as a, a chiropractor is like, I want to look at the muscle and look at the tissue and say, all right, how bad is it? And it was just ropey and adhesions and, and tautness in there. And it was just like, it was terrible. And right, what right. happened was there was just so much chronic little tiny injuries that add up. Right. And mm. there was just trigger points throughout and he, the nerve wasn't gliding like it should. And it was just it was just terrible. And we did yeah. we did the ergonomics. We did the manual therapy and then we did just a little bit of like mobilization in the, in the wrist and the carpals um, and, and the forearm as well and, and the elbow. And then we did some rock taping on it or K taping, which you've probably seen with, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. athletes. They have right. like black or pink or blue tape, whatever. Yep. And we just did some of that. And I said, all right let's take a look, let's look at hand strength now. And he could like open a door and it was like, wow. And it, it's not like, you know, yeah. I was a miracle worker and I like <laughs> the devil out of him or Possessed something like that, right? <laughs> it wasn't anything like that, but you know, it's just, it was really simple and, and stuff that I see all the time in my practice. But now that I'm working in esports and gaming, I noticed that, you know, this is really common. Hmm. there as well and so it was just getting those adhesions out of there getting that nerve moving fluidly getting those muscles um moving well and, and moving efficiently and getting that inflammation out of there as well and then the other yeah. thing is all right so we did this that's great now this is what you need to do at home too like you need right. to warm up before you need to do like a really tiny cool down afterwards but the big thing is doing a warm-up prior you, when you're taking breaks, you're moving, you're doing different things. And then also we need to build up the endurance and build up that load so you can handle that load of playing a lot. So we need to build up the endurance and the muscles doing different exercises. Yeah. Um, and, and that's the big thing is how much load can those tissues handle? So once you get that load, once you find out like, hey, I can play one game and then it starts hurting. All right. Mm -hmm. So you will play, you'll play one game and then you'll be done. And then we're going to do some endurance work. We're going to do some stretching and then we're going to kind of see how it is the next week and, and, and kind of progress to that. Amazing. Gosh, Drew, thank you for sharing that story, man. I, I was already just blown away uh, to, to not be able to do just your typical normal day to day thing. Yeah, and at 19. At 19. Like, that, that, yeah. That, that, it's yeah. Like 19, he's like 19 or 20. Like, right, right. If you're like 80, I'm like, well. <laughs> yeah i mean candy First crush <laughs> candy crush isn't gonna be that big of a deal but I mean, this guy was a legit di diamond player yeah and it's and that's like the what 0. 0.00 like one percent it's of, high of, i mean of players in north america like that's insane to to be that good at at league I mean, um yeah so it you know and it takes practice it takes a lot of time to get to that point right so building up that endurance in there is crucial like you can do all the stretches you want but you have to build an endurance in the muscles so they can handle that load right of, exactly, exactly. And i don't think a lot of people realize that gaming puts a lot of stress on you and just because right. it's not really physical once ridiculously mentally taxing yeah right? regardless if you win or lose like it's very mentally taxing but the tissues get just destroyed too mm. Mm. that's why you see what uzi retired and he he'd been in what well, 
probably like five, six years, maybe. I don't know exactly. Yeah, no, sure. I was just gonna I'm say sure someone in chat's gonna gonna tell me. But yeah, like the thing is, it. yeah, chat's gonna be flaming me for not knowing how long Uzi career was, but that's the thing, like this he's in his prime. He's in he's like under tw- like twenty five, twenty six. Like he should be playing more. And so it's just it's um it's terrible. Like it takes a toll. And yeah. the more the sooner people realize that and the orgs realize that, the sooner they're gonna have more fans, more connections, and have longevity in the sport. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, you said it right there, and, that, and that's what I was going to allude to, is, is that, I mean, these these players are so young, and to hear words like retirement at, you know, anywhere in your 20s, it's just... Unless you win the lottery, there should be... Right, no, right, right. Unless it's something... Because you know, if I win oh, the lottery they're... tomorrow, I'm... <laughs> retiring, I'm retiring, right? <laughs> retiring, yeah. <laughs> So you'd have to continue to keep spreading the gospel here and just sharing like more for the wellness tips here. We'll do, uh, I'll do, a, I'll do a post every three weeks. There you go. Okay. From it changes Hawaii. a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's something that as much as possible, if we can get ahead of the problem before it becomes a problem yeah. um, to inform our, our audience that are looking into uh, you know, into competitive play, or even if you're not in competitive play and you just enjoy doing this, mm-hmm. it's just naturally what you want to do. Uh, so the sake that you're not getting yourself into these habits of poor posture and bad ergonomics and movement uh, that's lacking, right? So that it doesn't stiffen your body up in- yeah. intensely. Or it doesn't mean carry on into like work. Like you, right. I love playing video games. So, you know, if it hurts me and I I get these sh- short-term effects that lead up to long-term effects, and then I can't work. As bad as that, like worst-case scenario, like, that's right. a big deal, right? right? So, and it, I always say, like, it's something you love doing, so you right. want to be able to do that for a long time. Yeah, and yeah. you do that by educating yourself and starting out these these little little tips. Yeah. No, absolutely. And, and, and let me ask you this, Drew, if you don't mind sharing with us. Uh, what neat, like, um, helpful tools or products that you've seen? I know you mentioned a, a few of them earlier, mm-hmm. but, um, I mean, before anybody just goes out and buys something, oh, yeah, I'm just, I got this because it, it's supposed to target this area, to understand a little bit about why a tool like that would be even needed if you're not able to seek out, let's say, a professional right away. Yeah. I mean, like I said before, like, the, like innovative ways or something like that, I the big thing is like education and, and education. reading about it. That's number mm-hmm. one. Like just right. do some reading on it. Um, and the other thing, like I said, I've been doing more and more reading on sleep. And one of the innovative ways is going to be super boring. Something we had as a kid, but it's taking a nap. Like a nap. Oh. taking a nap like mm-hmm. midday, especially if you're like a pro or semi-pro and you guys have scrims in the morning or whatever you, whatever you do in the morning, practicing in the morning, taking like a midday nap just solidifies all that stuff you learned in right, that intense. morning session yeah. and you just re- retain it so much better. Um, yeah. And I, I try to do that a little bit on lunch. Like I'll try and take, even if you can't like sleep, sleep, just, you know, kind of decompressing, even meditating or something like that. I've also started doing more meditating with headspace, which is free. I would highly I recommend that. that. Um, that is, it's been crazy. Like I didn't think, I didn't know like how quick it would make, I could see a change or make a big deal. Right. And like two or three days in, I just noticed that it, it almost like as weird as it sounds like a brain washing or like a cleansing, like Uh, you just felt like, Oh, uh, a lot of the junk's out of there. uh, Like a lot of the random thoughts that are coming in are just kind of like, boom. And I, I, as you know, anyone that knows me knows that my brain just goes, boom right it's like pong it just goes pop, 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 right so i was really nervous that i wouldn't be able to do it and oh. it took a you know it took a little training like two or three times but then i noticed like all right i can do this and i really liked headspace because one it's free yeah. and two yeah. they were kind of like you know if a think about your thoughts as like cars and if mm. a car comes through you can look at it and just let it pass through and i was like oh i never thought of that. i just something before when i've tried it it's you know, a thought would come in and I'd just be like, no, you need to get out of here. I'm trying to meditate. And it's like, and they just said, just let it go. Um, so right. I think head, download Headspace, try it. I do it in the mornings before work. That really helps. Nice. Um, taking naps midday, like 10, 15 minutes, just kind of decompress. It's like, a, you know, it helps with attention. It helps you just kind of give you a little energy boost. 
Um, and then as far as like actual tools, um, I mean, I, I really like the Hyperice stuff okay. a lot. That's it's nice. a little, a little expensive, but you can get this little mini sphere. It's about 99 bucks, okay. um, but it vibrates three different settings. And I really like it. I use it on my thumb. I get sore thumbs. Uh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay. Um, and my traps as well. Ah, okay. And that's, it's really cool. And they actually just came out with an app as well. So it kind of like walks ah. you through stuff, which is cool. awesome. And the app's free as well. So that was huge. Cause that app just says like, all right, you want to focus on this section of your body, this section of the body, here's how you do it with this tool. And you put in like what tools you have. So it's not going to give you like a, do this with this random tool you don't have, like everything you have, like, here's how you can kind of do it. So that walkthrough, once again, that coming back to the education aspect is huge. Right. So, um, like I said, naps, headspace, high price is awesome. Love it. And invest in a good gaming chair. Gaming well. chair. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, and I've been hearing so much coming out too recently. Is there one in particular that you would say, gosh, what is it that you're looking for in a gaming chair? Yeah. First, I wouldn't, with the stuff out there now, I would not get like a gaming chair. Right. Okay. I would get an office chair. Now, the Herman Miller chair came out. Right. And I gave my thoughts on that. I did on LinkedIn. I, I haven't put it on Twitter yet, but I, I'll put it on Twitter. And okay. So I love to hear. Yeah, I, I, I loved it. Like it's Herman Miller and it, it looks gorgeous, right? And they had yeah. some really, some really great things that all other gaming chairs like didn't have, right? And it was kind of a, re, it was a recycle of one of their previous ones, the Embody. Um, mm. They did add some features and like the aesthetics were cool, but the big thing that got me is like the price was just insane. Like that mm. was just, it's rough. And especially for that demographic, like I, I thought that, you know, with lot, them parting with large tech that they would, you know, read the room a little better and just be like, Hey, 1.5 K probably isn't, probably isn't our demographics right. wheelhouse. Right. right. Um, right. And I really wish it would have been under a thousand dollars. Now I didn't want them to do it like for 300 or 400 bucks because mm -hmm. you're paying for that design, that innovation and the, and the tech, because that's a damn good chair. Yeah. Right. You're not getting like a office max hundred dollar chair. Exactly. Right? exactly. You're paying for just innovation design and everything like that. And that sucker lasts. Like that thing is going to last. It has a 12 yeah. year warranty. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> and it, it's just an investment in your health. Like right. if you have a crappy chair for three years, then you get another one. So that's, you spend like 300 bucks. Then three years later, you spend another 300 bucks. Yeah. Not to mention if you have a sore back, then you got to go to the doctor. That's another added cost. Like you have to look at those hidden costs as well. Right. I just really wish the chair would have been a lot cheaper. Gotcha. Um, yeah. I really wish it would have been like even 800, 700 bucks. I think that would have been awesome for them. I, re I really think they would have done well, but uh, you know, I would recommend that one. If you could swing it, swing it. Right. But okay. Um, I use at my office, I use a Hayworth firm. Okay. That's about six, $700. If you go to the, one of the local dealerships, um, Herman Miller has a really good used market as well. So okay. you, you can go on used markets there. Um, okay. I'm trying to think of some other ones that are really like, I mean, honestly, like Hayworth and those and Herman Miller are really good. It's just, it's going to be more expensive secret labs, which I have, um, they're, you know, they have some really good features. I still wish they had some more dynamic features mm -hmm. for active sitting, but they right. have a, a really, really great integral lumbar support, which is good, you know, quality. Um, so, you know, gaming chairs are, the market is shifting, but I definitely wouldn't just go like get a gaming chair. Like honestly, get a really solid ergonomic task chair for an office. Okay. okay. It's just the same. Like, yeah, it's not gonna look as cool. It's not gonna be as bright and flashy better for your back like it's, right i was gonna yeah. say your back's gonna probably yeah. love you for you it you can get some <laughs> some spray paint and just go to work on that thing if you want right? <laughs> there but, you go yeah yeah, yeah Make but, it your, your own way yeah but don't get a gaming chair just to get a gaming chair like get a, a, a really good office um task chair they're called okay um, so no, like like i said fun. hayworth herman miller all steel uh steel case Feel case, right? Yeah, familiar with them. No, no, right on. And, and that's great to to know, just because I think we do gravitate towards eye candy. Like, oh, mm -hmm. it's a gaming chair, and the fact that it says gaming. It's chair, made for me. It's yeah. made yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got the right design, and and we fall in love with the aesthetics first before we actually do a little bit of research why it's supposed to, you know, what what the chair is supposed to do in the first place, yeah. um, and support the back. Awesome. Well, I do have a couple more questions, if you don't mind, um, yeah. Dr. Drew. And one of the questions that was brought up, thank you for the folks that entered their questions. 
is I got a question for the end. Uh, I also try to read before bed, but I use my iPad. Does the red light shift actually work or does it keep you awake too? I mean, that's what I use. I use, I yeah. use a iPad with a red shift and you know, I don't have trouble falling asleep. To, I'm going to be completely like blunt. Like I got tested for narcolepsy, so I could sleep. All right. That is just, <laughs> okay. When you look at my attributes on like a character selection screen, like sleep is boom. Ten is out of 10. There. Yeah. <laughs> ten out of ten. But, but still, you know, if I, I definitely noticed the difference if I used a, when I switched to red light, I did notice that I got sleepier quicker for sure. Interesting. And yeah. you know, I don't know, it's just that it's, it's just like that warmer sensation. It's, so much better for you. So yeah, I, I use iPad, you know, Kindle, paper book, ideally. But okay. once again, you know, if you use a book and you have a lamp, like that lamp is putting out, it's probably an LED light, right? So it's, it's say. putting out some blue, it's putting out blue wavelength as well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some of the stuff that I've read is, you know, those side lamps are putting out just as much as an iPad with blue light, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm a real big fan of it being really dark in the room and red light shift. I would also recommend getting some blackout curtains, like the uh, blackout curtains. I love a noise machine too, like a noise machine, you know, like 30 bucks on Amazon, right. like a little black box. And that is amazing. Especially we used to live in the, live in the city and it was just like, oh my God, it was like loud music and mufflers and people yelling outside. And, and like that thing just, it was a lifesaver. Yeah, I mean, um, so share, share a little bit. So noise machine, machine uh, what would that noise machine do? It's just giving like white noise. Oh, you can white do white noise, noise oh, or you can gotcha. do fan. And, Got and it. You can, yeah. you can vary like the, I think the pitch, you can vary the volume, you can vary if it's fan or white noise, but okay. that's a crucial investment too. Like, like I said, I, I've probably been hounding sleep lately with everything we've been talking about, but I've just been reading, I've been reading a really good book called uh, Why We Sleep Why by we sleep? Yeah. Matthew mm -hmm. Walker, I believe. Okay. Um, and it, it's really good and it puts me to sleep after a couple of days, but, <laughs> but it's, it's good. I really like it. So yes, as a roundabout way, Redshift iPad is what I use. I like it. it I love it. It's really love good. It. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, another question that got raised here and actually, uh, it, it says here, where, where is the, what about the, um, the ergonomic desk, those that raise, uh, that rise up, excuse me, and perhaps you shift from sitting to standing and playing, what what do you say about that? Yeah, I mean, sitting sit, sit to stand is is ideal. Like okay. a straight up standing desk, not ideal. Yep. Straight up sitting desk, not ideal. Varying your position is ideal. Okay. Right. So the more you can change position is going to be better for you know you muscles involved mentally as well. Mm -hmm. um, so getting like an adjustable height one is great. Like that's a solid investment. Um, they make some really good ones. Um, Ergotron makes a really good one. Oh, right. Ergotron. Right. They do some really cool stuff. Um, one of them, uh, I believe, has an, it's based with an app on your phone. Mm. So when your phone gets close, it can kind of say, like, oh, so and so is close, this height, and it's programmable, which is really good too. So I don't know. I've, I've tried playing gaming standing up. It feels weird. Mm. Um, mm. Unless I'm in like those kiosks in Best Buy. Other than that, like I think, <laughs> I think it's tough, and I think you know, gaming is a, a lot of muscle memory, right? Mm -hmm. So, I have played, been playing two, three years, League of Legends, sitting down, and all of a sudden I'm standing up. Is that going to translate? And I didn't feel as comfortable, okay. right? But when I'm not gaming, I'm video editing, I'm reading an article, I'm you know typing a, um, a blog post, blog or post, I'm yeah. getting ready to post something like that. Then I, I want to stand up, and it feels so much better and yeah. you have you have more energy throughout the day you don't feel as tired you know your back doesn't get achy anything like that so sit to stands are awesome um and like i said they make like programmable adjustable height ones they also make ones that raise and lower really easy as well um mm -hmm. but yeah i would highly recommend that yeah all right very good very good um another question that got brought up um sh uh, should we be concerned about heart rate during gaming yeah i mean I gaming is stressful right yeah, and I can be. um you know they've they've done studies and you can look at your your apple watch or whatever fitbit whatever you're using like your heart rate goes up and down throughout and i kind of touched out in one of my articles uh, with heart rate variability um and how if there's a high rate of variability that's actually good like your sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems are working together like they should like an equilibrium right, right. but if it's if you're stressed if you don't 
if, if you're eating poorly, if you're not sleeping well, if you're stressed at work, if you're stressed during the game, everything, all that can add up and cause you to be like a sympathetic shift or like always stress, which kind of causes chronic inflammation, causes diseases, you know, causes you to just feel like on edge, headaches, stuff like that. So, yeah. you know, having a higher heart rate, depending on what you're doing, is normal. Right. It's normal when you exercise and your heart rate gets crazy and you're like, like, so when I exercise, for instance, I'll like my heart rate's typically like 60. Right. And okay. It's like an elephant. It's weird. But <laughs> when I exercise, it'll get up to 180. I'm like, I'm, am I going to die? Like when, I, you know, when you first see that, you're just like, what is going on? But, you know, that's, yeah. that's natural. Right. Yeah. And so yeah. and same thing in gaming too. Like when you're in a stressful situation, like I play, I main jungle. So like when nice. I have to, hit a barren smite i'm like oh my god i can't miss this or i'm gonna get just get flamed so i yeah. my heart rate will skyrocket too like if i look at my like, um, like a heart rate like my heart rate matter with my uh, eye watch i'll be just like whoa you know it, it was crazy during that fluctuation but you know obviously if you're having pain or is it it's really out of ordinary or it's constantly high then yeah go go seek a, a medical professional go see a cardiologist you know to your primary to get the referral but um having those fluctuations in and heart rate is, is common in gaming because it's a stressful situation. I mean, everyone's had it like gamer sweat. Like that's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think many people realize that. Like, like when I, when I put in like a session of like war zone or something like that, and my wife will be like, are you sweating? I was like, yeah, <laughs> it's gamer sweat. Like, what it's do you, gamer what do you sweat. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a stressful situation. So yeah, yeah. like I said, you know, those, those are stressful situations. You know, that, that's not uncommon to have higher rates of heart rate but at the same time you want to make sure that it's not a constant thing there's obviously no pain or anything like that like you can go you know it can get really bad but you, you know yeah. having a higher heart rate is totally fine yeah no okay no right on and, and we're sorry to talk on that uh that gamer sweat i know exactly what you mean and yeah. essentially i mean if you think about like even traditional sports for example and the game's on the line and it's like two seconds on the shot clock kind of deal and somebody's got to take the shot, right? Mm -hmm. And it's it's nerve city, right? Everyone's yeah. in pins and needles and very similar situation into like the gaming atmosphere where it's intense and you're yeah. you're going to either pull it off and be clutch, quote unquote, and hit that, uh, you know, shot, if you will, or, or not, you know, and, and it gets really, like you said, stressful or very, um, you know, it can be nerve wracking. And yeah, uh, yeah it just... Exactly. Uh, if somebody wonders why you have a towel next to your desk, <laughs> towel up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, seriously, and have that water, like you said. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah seriously, I, I'm gonna cheers right now with you, man. I'm telling you, drink some water as we talk. But yeah, I mean the, the dryness and in, in just talking too. Uh, yep. You're communicating so much. I mean yeah. that's the thing that I think everybody, for the most part, that are watching. Uh, let's say somebody, uh, you know, participating in esports is the communication, uh, the, the verbal, the text, the, the, the ability to communicate prior, you know, it's, it can be, you know, so taxing in, in our, in our speech that, yeah, we need, we will get that dry mouth, you know, or we'll get that dry cough, if you will, yeah. uh, if we're not hydrating properly, but, um, gosh, uh, I, I know exactly what you mean. Um, and question, there was another question that was raised, and this is a good one. Thank you. Uh, what kind of headphones are safe? Uh, I, I guess they're, what, what kind of headphones do you recommend? Maybe what kind of decibel sound, volume, all of that stuff. I'm going to be honest. Like, that is not my wheelhouse at okay. all. That's okay. a ENT wheelhouse or probably a primary. Like, I'm okay. not going to be like, I'm not going to pretend. Like, yeah, no, I, thank you. I, I know what my strengths are and, and everything. I use these, uh, like, a gaming headset. I try and keep them on low volume. Um, okay. So, like, I think on Warzone, I have Boost Low on, so you can hear footsteps better, but it's also better, you know, a little better for ears. Yeah. Um, definitely not my wheelhouse. I know Logitech came out with some sick ones um, okay. that had some some really cool features in recently, like that just came out last week. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But definitely not my wheelhouse. So, whoever asked that question <laughs> is going to be sorely disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, though, it encourages to go do some research and educate, right? It's yeah. And then please come back and let us know what, what you find uh, in your research. No, this is awesome. Well, Drew, we're almost at that time uh, where I can't believe this time has passed and flown. Uh, if you could, uh, just for the, for the good of the group, uh, usually at the end, 
uh, we'd like to hear from our speakers, like some kind of words of wisdom, if you will, uh, something that would be plan of action. If you can just uh, take us out with, with some kind of words of wisdom. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is education, like learn some things, do some research on what is bothering you or what you want to focus on. That's the first step. Like the first step is admitting it, right? And so right. like you have pain, how do I fix this? Um, and I think the second big takeaway is just get up and move. And I always preach that on my blog is like, whatever you want to do, move. Like every half hour, get up and move, go do go do X, go do Y, you know, go get a drink of water, go do some yoga, whatever you want to do. Like you have time and you have the, you know, you have the ability to do so. So do so like move, get some education, learn yourself some things today. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. If you learn something new today, gosh, you conquered the day, you know, what I yeah. mean? That's, that's awesome. And I love what you said early on about these progressive steps. Yeah. Uh, that it, it takes these progressive baby steps doesn't have to be super uh you know drastic and because no, uh, it won't stick it, it won't drastic right does right not stick yeah love it love it well said drew well gosh uh thank you everybody that was able to tune in and drew i can't thank you enough so please on chat just go crazy and thank drew for coming in uh he's obviously you know you can catch him and drew if you don't mind share sharing with us uh where can people reach you yeah, uh, you can find me at my blog for the wellness blog spelled out dot com. Um, Twitter, I'm on Twitter, Facebook. No, no one uses Facebook. So Twitter, <laughs> Instagram. Um, I'm on eFuse is a is a platform. I don't know if some of you guys are on it. Love that platform. That is awesome. I would highly mm -hmm. recommend getting on there if you want to be like an aspiring streamer or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just got my webcam finally after three months of waiting. So I'm going to be doing some streams. I'll, like It's mostly going to be like me probably playing Warzone or League. Okay. Um, and I usually do like one night a week and then I'll do like weekend afternoons around mm -hmm. like noon, one o'clock Eastern. Um, and basically it's going to be me playing and then I might have some other guests on like health professionals or something like that and just be a really casual stream talking you can come in and make fun of me all you want uh <laughs> but uh but yeah and, and if you have questions like ask them in the chat like I'm I'm a very casual person I'm not trying to once again talk about scientific <laughs> studies all day and like that like it like it's gonna be really casual but even questions like answer if you have a question you can dm me on twitter you can send me a message on uh on my website um, i would highly encourage obviously plugging my website but at the same time like there's a ton of really good stuff on there um there's some good memes on there there's videos there's kind of everything like i when i do a, an article i want to make sure that like if i was going to look at that like i would enjoy reading it right, right? right. and so that's how i approach it with whether it's um whether it's, like I said, pictures or videos or, you know, stupid memes, stuff like that. Like that's <laughs> stuff that I enjoy reading that keeps my attention. And right. so I think that's what I want for the, what the reader would want as well. Oh, right on, Drew. Thank you so much. Gosh, you got a plethora of options to, to read. Cornucopia, yeah. if you will. <laughs> yeah. I love it, man. Well, thank you, everybody. And, and uh, be safe. And uh, yeah, get yourself educated. And uh, hopefully this is really informative uh, for you to watch. All right. Thank Take you. Care. See ya. Bye-bye.